My name is Savara, Savara Mudigi. I'm part of a band called Saudi Soul. Uh, we grew up in Nairobi, Kenya. I grew up mostly in Eastlands, um, a section in Nairobi. And I've, I've come to grow to love music and to love what I do. And I think through music and through serving people through my art has made me become who I am today. Throughout my music journey, I travel. I do concerts across the world, <laughs> the world like I'm blessed, I thank God and I go back to Eastlands. Anytime I come back into the country, maybe go to Eastlands just to see my boys. <laughs> I feel bad. It used to be normal at first, and then afterwards I started feeling bad. I think it's just growing and knowing, understanding my, my purpose, and just feeling happy also with my music career, and now feeling like, okay, now I, be, I have a bigger responsibility. I go back to Eastlands, I realize people ask me for money. <laughs> Boys will always just say, I will see you on TV, but at the end of the day, need will surpass hype, you know? Man, Eastlands, uh, mm, there's a lot of memories, especially like when I think about it now, I realize like culturally it played a big role in me understanding how to interact with people. The barber shop also played a big role, you know. Food, food joints, man. There's a way we were eating together, like, you know, <laughs> you know, these small food joints in Eastlands, which bring people together. And there's a way people socialize and interact, which is very, very interesting and allows you to understand how to just make like, Analyze a human being and know how to communicate, which is important. Tattoos, man. You know, I used to go to school. Like even in high school, I used to panda my tattoo from from town to Upper Hill School. I went to Upper Hill School, and I remember my tattoos like they were full, and sometimes we hung. But the matatu culture is dope in Nairobi, yo. If you look at the graffiti in matatu. I used to listen to music in a matatu going to school, and look at me being a musician right now. Understanding beats, being a producer, I, I, I listen to a lot of Dr. Dre hip hop in my tattoos. So, a few months ago, uh, I was like hanging out with my friends. Now, anytime you look on a too, I was thinking, what can I do for these people? Uko Islands. What something nice? Every year I turn older. I pop champagne with my people, ah, my shapoa, which is good. Like in Nafkiria, Sijai Fanyata concert Eastlands. <laughs> Yet, they're the people who like support me a lot when I push Kama as a musician, like when I push to this level. And that's ironic. <laughs> it's not nice. I think it's bad. So, idea Ikakuja, I wanted to do a soccer tournament. Nikasema, a soccer tournament? It's a social gathering whereby people, because I played soccer, what what I enjoy, when I do what we land on a panda ball, up on a pallet, just just a ball. Simple matters. This thing in on a shadow togetherness, men and women can do stuff. We can play together. Na iki tu mukishika na kama mta imta yote ijeri apa na na apa apa kunasa imta na najua. I place me breed wase oma na musa utieno ametoka apa wine top striker ametoka apa. I see a lot of players wame chazata ball apa. Mugabe, Wanyama, Bestiangu Sana, Semichata Bolapa. So, easy places come as Ziwani, as Kaziwani, Kunoma, Kunapol, Noma, Uko, All Stars, man. You guys, Pakas enemies to Kajeri, All Stars, Bado Uko, man. I respect you guys. So, what I want to tell you is this please, take this project, and say, Dear Madame, Iwabambe, Namuranayo, Sidio. Apo Lipi, Apo Sah, Apo Lipi, Apo Sah. Dona Yan, the torture man, and me. Turning 30, I'm going to do something I want to do for my community. I just take a couple of few thousands, the party and come up prize money. What watch is the ball? But then, Kafkiria, no. What, what then will happen the following year? What, what will happen the following and the following year? No. Say the party to to. This idea. I'm thinking of them like they need a mind shift. <laughs> okay, need will always surpass, you know, everything, but they need a mind shift. They see me on TV, I go to places. People just 
throwing hands in the air, you know, but they've never watched light camera action. That That's just part of, they've never seen that. So when they see like Chris Brown on TV on on voila, I wish, we wish we could be here, but if I could only do that and I'm their people. So Nicole, now let's combine that with a concert. My mom is the one who taught me all my traditions, like everything that I believe in. Not being able to lay a hand on a woman. It's my mom. Mama ngundwali bichapa kufi. These things happen uh, growing up. Sasa, nikona, how can I change how people perceive? Because nikienda Europe, ama nikienda wapi, I interact with my learned friends. Ho, 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 tu wamenda shule unajua. Nikienda interact na wana tu. It's just because they went to good schools. Lakini ours is Lando Manze. They don't know any better. So I I was like, most of my fans, ni madem. People that I interact on social media are women. There's a way, even in my music, we 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 most mostly write for women. Like we we like women. The the woman has has defined our society, especially coming from Africa. Yo, <laughs> you know sometimes like. Sometimes like ideas are just in mind, but when you execute them or when they just start, like the first phase or the pilot phase just get executed, that's when you realize like, oh my God, like I'm deep into this. This thing already has taken off and it's given me joy already. To whom much is given, much is expected. So I think right now, I'm thinking of the future, I'm thinking of, okay, now we are headed there. Man, I've managed to build a very nice team around me. Not even around me, around Sawa now. Around every, every, every lady who goes through the Sawa program. Sawa is Savara Women's Advancement Program. The program is a mind transformation program so that by the time they get out of there, out of there wana joko to me vitu zenye ziko karibu to now. So the 50 women that are chosen, there's a criteria whereby the questions that are asked, one of those are solely analytical. Six it is a kukusho nini. No, kukusho tu IQ, vile mdema na zafikiri ya raka. 50 are chosen, are shortlisted, and they go through a period of an eight session, like this eight session program, which are distributed over the weeks of, in a year, you know. So every session, wanna go through different points. There's a way what are role models. The role models. No, you are these women. Sometimes they just see people on TV. So wanna take a choir, come here, here. Like any, they don't see that they can be like them. So I want us to get to know each other. I want us to have a great time. You will do purpose discovery. That's a very interesting journey. My name is Mary Mogore Mosheru and I'm from Buruburu. I'm 24 years and uh, currently I'm doing sales but deep down inside I know I want to do music full time because that's my passion. I got to know about our program while I was going through my Instagram page. I happened to follow Sauti Soul and Savara. I registered and I got picked. So they just called us for interviews where they had, we had like a, a panel of like maybe four people asking us questions. For example, if you won one million shillings, like what would you do with it to help the society or the community around you? So we just discussed uh, around there and then, you know, you give feedback, uh, you present the questions as, as asked. So after that, then they, they, you know, turned it down to 50 ladies and then we started the program. So the summer program was running for eight sessions every alternate Saturday, which we got to attend. I attended every single one of them because, well, I didn't want to miss out on anything. 
So each session was covering, you know, different topics. For example, uh, life skills, body image, uh, entrepreneurship, where mentorship, where I got to meet mentors that I never thought I, I would meet. Say, for example, for me personally is when, because I, I, I'm a musician, I'm a singer. So um, I got to meet Yvonne Dark. I mean, are you kidding? <laughs> so now we, we had like one-on-one -on -one conversations where she would talk about the music industry, the recording processes, the video recording and how to market your, your song. I want to do music full time. So for me, I'm like, I'm going to keep taking down notes because this is something that I'm that I'm learning and I'm really excited about, you know. So even if you even leave the program ends today, I'm very sure this is this is some information that I have with me that I'm going to use for the rest of my life they actually understand what the youth need, you know. A lady I was speaking to, and this is gonna sound very funny, but I was actually singing somewhere, and she came up to me and she's like, hi Mary, how are you? I'm like, oh my God, what are you doing here? And then she said, I, I got a job through South, the South program. I was like, oh, thank God. You know, it's so exciting. It's not, it, the beauty about South, it's, it's just, they're not there to just say things. You know, there are other people who just come up to you because they want to improve themselves. But with, with Sawa, it's, I'd say it's personal for me because they, they want to hold your hand and like walk the journey with you. I'm grateful for Savar, to be honest. Like, I, I don't know how he came up with it or how he was able to put it together, but it happened. And I am so grateful because I've, I've learned so many things in the program and I want it to go on and on and on because I want many people to be able to pass through this program. And the first time we start designing the life we want. My name is Janet Bogwa and I'm so honored to have been asked to be a role model during the SAWA program. I've been following this program for a long time. I was so pleasant, pleasantly surprised when I saw that Savara had launched it. I was like, that's a man who understands that you know it's important to talk about issues affecting young women. I'm so happy that here is a group of young women who can grow into something amazing and incredible because other people took time out to mentor them. Um, I hope this program goes on for the longest time, for years and years to come. And I'd be more than honored to just completely um, remain being a role model at the SAWA program. Any participant who comes out of it, like, has a serious mind shift. Like, they will be able to analyze stuff. They'll be able to look at you and question. <laughs> yeah. They'll be able to just look at anything and question its existence. Yeah. They'll be able to analyze things rationally. They'll be able to think that think of where they are and what's happening globally. They'll be able to celebrate themselves. They'll be able to make the right decisions. Yeah. <laughs> With Sawa and statistically looking at this country's population and ukiangalia vizuri, unajua? Ukiangalia more than like, mm, let's say 50%, more than 50% of this country population wako below the age of 25. So when you think of that, na wangalia mini target between the age of 18 and 25. Kama unajua sabu, kama uli nasijuka fanya actual science, ama uli fanya basic mathematics ile ya shule, ama ile 844, fikiria ya sabu. What percentage of the population am I attracting? Kama unajua sampling, nimekwambia I'm just alone. Sisi fanya hiki tu ni kama nafikiria the whole world, lakini nafikiria sahi na community yangu like in Eastland. No matter me take sample, I sampled 50. So out of that 50, niambie 50 after 50 after 50 wale wana influence wengine, the ripple effect countrywide. Na tumesema 60% or more than 50% of the country population are between the are lower than 25 years of age. Think about it. It is a ripple effect. I would like to say 
where I am right now, I owe it to all of you guys, like from the stakeholders, from people who I mentioned this first to, from people who built this dream, my team, JP, Sheba, this Ruth, 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 thank you man. There's Chiki, Chikwere, Onukwe from Niger, thank you. There's Millie, there's Crispin from my team, from the Saudi Soul team, there's Maureen, there's Marek, there's my boy Saudi Soul man, my heartbeat. You know, there's my family, Mama came for the concert, my extended family came for the concert. All the artists, Nameless, Nyashinsky, Timmy Dad, you know, I can mention all the dancers from Chiki's like uh, dance studio, Eva from uh, the dance crew. There's a lot of people. There's MC Filippo, there's ZJ Heno, there's ah man, there's a lot of this Shiti who was like the comedian and uh, an MC also. This MC Filippo I had mentioned also. There's a lot of people. There's radar security. There's Pascal. Pascal was my security for that day. Not that I needed, but I just needed some order around me. And there's a lot of people who came around, people that I've interacted with before. I might not mention your name. There's McDonald Marika, there's Victor Wanyama, Spurs, <laughs> the Tottenham player. There's a lot of people. There's, there's Tony Riley from the uh, British Council. There's a lot of people that I invited also. And there's a lot of people who did not were there, weren't there like physically, but they were, were there in spirit. And they don't, they, they didn't even like go to the extent of maybe saying double tapping, but they were like, yeah, this guy is doing something nice. That's all I need from you. Betting Foundation, man. Thank you for believing in this course. <laughs> I don't know how I can thank you, but I'm, I'm sure you're seeing the results and I'm sure you're seeing the bigger dream. And that's all I want from everybody who participates in Sawa. What? Sema tu, Palisawa itaenda ina depend nao nyinyi. Na Sawa is a mentorship program ya ku change minds. Na na make it very clear right now. Sawa siya kuomba pesa. Sawa siya kutafuta funding. Sawa siya kutafuta foreign sympathy. Sawa niya create independence. Our own African independence. Now, African, when I say African independence, is very wide and it's like cliche, like, oh, all you Africans want to be independent. No, 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 no. Like, in, look at independence, the word independence as a whole. Like, it's independence, independence of mind, body, and soul. Ile everything you're independent. I can make a decision to do this and this and this. Anywhere in the world, to exist globally, to change. Form opinion, people can challenge your opinion and say, yo, I stand for this and this and this. That's what Sawa is all about. So, to my answer, to Pelekeni Kanan. <laughs>